Who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hopper. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find, but make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out uh. of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. You know, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. But when gifts sent, who interesting? Do do. Thank you, man. Yeah, this has been on my list for a uh, a while. Thanks, Abyssal. I appreciate that. Death happens in games. Yes, perhaps more frequently to me than uh, than others. Alright, so we need to head to the quarantine zone. Is that what he's going on about? Uh, let me grab... Looks like there's a punch card over here. Try to grab this punch card. Is it up or is it down? Hmm. I'm thinking up. The little guys, I assume they're sort of maintenance doing maintenance work, but they're the big like the big guy was with the cigar model. It makes them look like they're up to something else down there. Big boss, gangster boss model. Boffy controlled elevators, you never know. Alright, so that was the punch card. Back to the car.
So what do you bet? We're gonna have to make some decision about actually saving rich, rich assholes or saving people that are more deserving of being saved. Do, do, do. Yeah, we need to make money too. That's true. At least one rich asset. Where am I going? Where did I park? I'm the wrong, I'm the wrong way. That's me. that is for sure. the gate. Why don't you go faster the lower you go? Closer to the, uh, whatever that is, the energy field down there. my nose long around. All right. Punch card check. All right, looks clear. Go to right there. Third right. Entered the quarantine zone. Let me, before we go in here, let me run to the bathroom. Grab some more. Don't see any zombies. Oh, there's, the, there's this field. This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. Now, I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you gotta be quick. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. I understand. So, oh man, there's so many. Hi, how are you? I am good, thank you. 
My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy. Are you brand new? You're so shiny. I am 18 hours old, and I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sounds like you were going to be a chef. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then they were rolling, then twitching, then they were still. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak and you were the only one left? Yes, they didn't instantiate my base programming, so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like... I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner, and my market value will be far less. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore, not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No, only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract, usually for at least 10 years. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I really like helping. I have only done 12 different things so far, but helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. All right, so we have a helpful baby android. Please remember that unlicensed jazz in novellas is punishable by death. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic, neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is... Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO? Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper level management and corpse. How do you get a job as a CEO? Hey, Rusty. How's it going? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking. Being a savage. Originality. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, God. I should go. All right. Quincy Sharp, uh... Place him at the bottom of the list. So far. Down low. Oh, it's. This is Octavius Butler. Oh, my, my, my. How the turntables. Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora, you're here. It's good to see you, miss. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. I was Sky. hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Huh. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius Butler. He'll know what to do. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You need to get Mr. Octavius Butler. You must remember a message for me. Can you do that? Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? 
I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. I am. Stop talking. But don't worry. Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear. Get going quickly now. Okay. We'll place her above the uh, last guy we talked to. But below our uh, helpful android. We're having to make these decisions here. All right. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. The lab has accidents all the time. It was definitely one of the interns. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no, none of us could have predicted... Oh, did you set off this gas? Are you with Corpsec? Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Rescue insurance. Can you imagine? Dystopian future. Yeah, we're going to leave you down on that hole. Not sure your uh, rescue insurance covers uh, well accidents or whatever. Oh, okay. So he sounded like his lab may have caused this uh, gas leak. Let's see here. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it says right Are there on the okay, screen. Are you doctor? Yes, yes, sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. What caused the toxic gas? I don't know. The whole city is falling apart. Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit. And that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No. I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. But bad answers are worse than no answers. What will you do when you get out? Drink some vodka. Phone my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him. But he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Do you... Will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college 10 years. It doesn't matter, though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm... Ooh. Wow. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kai, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man and boy. Or oh, android and circuit board. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Rusty, it's going well. Do you have any friends or Having a lot of fun with this game. I got the old boy How are you in? Waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are you retired? 
Yes, ma'am. There's not many of us Markades left in the city. We're antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis, scurrying down corridors in swarms, hundreds of them, millions, big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. But he is an android, right? Hello, it is Camus. Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose, I think. Not saying because he's an android, he's worthless, but in theory... The gas shouldn't affect him, right? Both those androids? Alright, so... Rich CEO douchebag, he's out. Is he in a work meeting? Yeah, I was surprised when I first started playing this. I thought it would be more delivery based and there'd be less kind of, you know, characters and story interaction, but it's been fun. Alright, where is, uh... So we got Baby Android, we got Douchebag CEO, we have Mrs. Octavius Butler. We've got the Professor, who says he's got money. And then we have the Doctor. Mrs. Octavius Butler just wants me to get a message to her husband, so if I if I do what she wants me to do, just have to tell her husband. Let's take. I don't want to. I don't. Uh, let's um. Let's try to balance it out. Let's take. Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a vehicle. The doctor? I can get past the security checkpoint. I can get you out of here. Really? But what about everyone else? I only have a few spaces. We need to go now. I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security checkpoint in two minutes. Can we take Mrs. Octavius Butler? Even though she's obnoxious. Make the professor. She's rich. We know she's rich. We know the professor is rich. We know the CEO is rich. The professor might have caused this problem in the first place. In his lab. And of course he's blaming the interns. He always blame the interns. Mrs. Butler, I can take you back to your husband. I have a vehicle and I can get you through quarantine. Well, that's fabulous news. Tell me, is it possible you have a different vehicle? Perhaps something a bit... Change newer. my mind. Stay here. No, sorry. It's my old Hava or you stay here. I'll pack my belongings and be with you momentarily. All right. And one more. Do we take the baby android or do we take the uh, warbed android? Technically, take the baby android. He's not free. He might at some point be able to get a job. But apparently until he has a name, you can't, uh, he's not technically emancipated. He has to work for 10 years before he gets, you know, considered, considered a, I don't know, person. 
He has full rights. Uh, hmm. And if we don't take him, they'll take him back to the factory, wipe his memory, and, and start the process over again. I'm tempted to take the bet. Yeah. Sergeant, I have a vehicle. I can get you back to your friends. Do you want to come with me? Sure, Mom. Why not? The boys will be worried about me. Oh, they'll have cashed out all my poker chips because they think I'm dead already. Either way, we better hurry. I'll see you by the checkpoint in a minute. I can't thank you enough for taking me out of that horrid place, dear. I can't wait to get back and see Mr. Butler again. Uh -huh. Oh, do you have any air freshener for the car? You know what? It's fine. Don't bother yourself. All right, so we got one rich There's asshole. There's a bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. more tense than the roach walls of 08. Thanks for springing me, Mom. I owe you. All right, where we need to go? Back to Old Town. Okay. We're going to weave through the, the buildings here. We got enough to cover Cloudpunk's costs. Still save some people who would have not normally been saved. Feeling better. The only decision I haven't been sure on really is the uh, the Andersons. Resetting the Andersons or freeing the Andersons? Talk to. 